Now, an environmental group is trying to halt the spread of a weed which can cause serious harm to people, animals and other plants. Giant hogweed currently covers around 30 kilometres of land around the River Uri in Aberdeenshire. The project will help restore the river bank, but more volunteers are needed. Reem Sitar has the details. Now, why is it so important to get rid of giant hogweed? These are our friends. This one's comfrey. And I remember those from when I was a wee boy. And when I was a wee boy, there weren't these enormous, great, big, hideous hogweed plants shading out everything. For Callum Wilson, volunteering allows him to help restore the banks of River Uri in Aberdeenshire. But there is a major obstacle in the way. Giant hogweed. It's most commonly found near river banks and stops native plants from growing and can be harmful to people and animals. I hope to spend at least another 10, 15 years working in river catchments up across on Deeside and on Donside, just doing what I can to restore the river that I remember. When giant hogweed grows in areas such like this, it blankets out other species, so native plants find it difficult to grow underneath it because it's the size of the leaves, they shade everything out. And also native birds, native wildlife, they don't eat it, they don't nest in it, so it's just not good for any of our native biodiversity on the riverbanks. Scottish Invasive Species Initiative are currently working on a project to eradicate the weed across the northeast. If people come into contact with the sap, it can cause severe burns when the affected area is exposed to sunlight. And giant hogweed causes quite serious problems both for the native biodiversity and with risks to people who come into contact with it. It's got a toxic sap where the ground is not disturbed for other reasons, for example farming. Uh, giant hogweed would take over and cover massive areas. Getting rid of giant hogweed is no easy task. Only a herbicide treatment can kill the plant. For the River Uri to be free of hogweed, it could take up to a decade. The problem with giant hogweed is that each plant has thousands of seeds um, and the seed bank becomes a problem. So in areas like the Uri, we will clear these plants, they'll be sprayed this year and they will die off but there's probably the better part of 10 years worth of control needed here in order to really get the problem under control. It's hoped by 2035, Callum will be able to see this riverbank back to its former glory. Reem Sitar, STV News.